Andrew, I'm familiar with your research, and you've made the case continually that fundamentals matter. We all agree on that, but where you come out differently on this is that you think the fundamentals are shaping this market. How so, Andrew? Yeah, so uh, thanks and, and good morning. It's nice to be with you. I think that what we see is that while it's very easy, I think, to ascribe a lot of the summer's strength to you know easy central bank policy and, and continued easing globally, I, I do think a major story of the summer's strength has been surprisingly strong economic data uh, that surprised to really a historically elevated degree. And I think that means that continued strength of the data is really essential going forward. We, we're not simply, we can't simply coast on an expectation of uh, that central <coughs> banks will solve all problems. And I think this is what makes the debate around U.S. fiscal policy so important, is that I think we're facing a, a really key decision point for how the economic growth in the U.S. could <coughs> look like going forward. And we think that would matter for markets, even if the Fed keeps policy easy. Andrew Sheets, what does the decline in oil signal? It seems to be the one statistic removed from all the gyrations of Fed, central bank, ECB, fiscal, and that. What does Morgan Stanley say of $37 a barrel West Texas Intermediate? Yeah, the oil market, I, I think, is very interesting at the moment because I think what you see across commodities, and, and uh, you know, I think this also goes back to the idea that, that fundamentals matter, is that the <clears throat> supply dynamics really differ. You know, you have very different supply dynamics in something like copper versus, versus oil, where I, I think the challenge that oil has is that as soon as you move up around $40 a barrel, you have increased incentives for U.S. shale producers to hedge, and it's probably harder for OPEC to continue to um, push for its members well, to are you, keep cutting supply. Yeah. Well, this is important. I don't mean to cut you off from the microeconomics. It's brilliant. But are you suggesting oil is not indicating global slowdown? I, I don't think so. So I do think the supply issues are, are a major factor behind that, because a lot of the other economic data that we follow, the, the global PMI data, uh, a lot of other global retail sales data, that all still looks pretty good. So we're, we, we still think the global economic picture is strong and that what's happening in oil is a bit more to do with some of the micro fundamentals of supply in that market. 